and I'll let you know. Okay, I'm gonna bring up your first performer slash contestant slash superstar slash you fill in the fucking blank. Uh, okay, this guy, this guy coming to the stage has a fucking great nickname. When he told me, I got excited. I don't get excited about anything anymore. This guy told me some shit. I got excited, as excited as I got when I discovered they have dark chocolate M&Ms. Did you guys know that? They're fucking unbelievable. Holy shit. They are, she just, yeah, they're awesome. Emphatically, you said that. Emphatically, that they were awesome, and you're fucking right. <laughs> they're absolutely awesome. And if you haven't tried them, shame on you. <laughs> okay, coming to the stage is your first contestant. This guy's hilarious. I don't know where he's from. I forgot to ask that. He's got an awesome name, though. Give it up for Johnny Tremendous. Johnny Tremendous! Well, isn't that amazing, Johnny Tremendous? And you forgot to ask about people from New Jersey, Jonesy. Hello. I guess I'm the only one. Um... And also, I actually do take the flyers from the people on the street because I do feel bad for them. I mean, don't you feel a little sorry for them? I mean, it's like their job and nobody really wants it and they feel like they're like lepers. So I'll, I'll take them and I'll just sort of, I'll even wait about four or five blocks before I throw them out. Mm -hmm. And I do take those AM newspapers sometimes, but I don't read them, but I throw them out a few, a few blocks later. Anyway, um, bang me in the shit box. <laughs> Then just walk away This one's on the house, boys Next time, you'll have to pay Hey, oh, I love the oldies So I was home before I came here playing Diana Ross Tossing some pillows Feeling swatches of fabric And then I realized, oh my, I have to get to the Triad Theater so I sort of uh, put on my butchist outfit, have the balls to wear this, a muscle shirt, and I don't have a muscle in the world. And don't think the name Johnny Tremendous is applying to that, because even I don't go down near there. I find it very odd, it's like touching a gummy worm, I try to masturbate and I can't. I stop instantly, I just let my mother blow me, it's fine. Alright, I don't. My father. Um, so I took a hit of poppers and after door I skipped, it was fine. <laughs> And I love these bottles of water. How ridiculous is this? It's so slippery and cold in my hand. I can't stand it. It's going to fall right out. I know it. Things make me nervous. Things make me very nervous. Like Dorothy, the Wizard of Oz. She was very nervous all the time. I'm frightened. I'm frightened. She should be frightened. Like getting them dressed, those big tails, that little horrible, stupid shoes. But I'm very nervous about getting stuck in the subway. Like, you know, those, not the turnstiles. But those other, like the exit doors that are like bars, you have to go through them. But a lot of people, instead of wanting to go through them, they go through the other door that sets up an alarm. But I'm very frightened of going through those doors, and I know that if I go through the alarm door, I'll be shot, so I don't do it. Because I'm a very good gay boy, and I don't do those things. And I'm very nervous about approaching, um, being from New Jersey, I drive. I have a little Mini Cooper convertible, it's like the Pope Mobile, I put a bubble on it, it's nice. And uh, I just wave like this every once in a while, it's very friendly. But I'm nervous about four-way stop signs. Because I'm never really sure when I've gotten there, if I'm the first one there, the second one there, the third one there, or the fourth one there. So I just never know when to go, so sometimes I just sit there and just hope for the best. Oh, uh, what else am I nervous about? Mm, not too much. <laughs> I think I'll take a little drink right now. Um, believe it or not, I do go to a gym. Yeah, you laughed. How rude. <laughs> Very rude, but that's, that's a good answer. I don't to spot people a lot, but they don't really seem to want me to. I don't know why. I sit around the juice bar with a towel. Go, can I spot you? Can I spot you? And I do some things. I don't really know what I'm doing. I have to ask, what's your try? You know, what is it, a trapezoid? Your quads or something, I don't know what I'm doing. But I have a good time. And a lot of people like to talk to me, they like to chat, they're very chatty. And because uh, I'm on the treadmill, you know, going at the, at the biggest height, and they're like just talking to me all the time, and I just thought, why don't these people that are all chattering to each other, they're talking to me, why don't they just chat to each other? Be much nicer. Um, 
I was just sad. <laughs> I'm looking out, and all I see is the exit sign, and it's calling my name. <laughs> so, I made my reservation at Rite Aid this morning. I dialed in my prescriptions, and uh, that took about 20 minutes. And of course, she says, you know, if you're calling from a physician's office, I don't know, do you have this in New Jersey? Or in New York, is it just a Jersey thing? If you're calling from a prescriptions office, hit one. If you're calling from, you know, whatever, hit two. If you've got more than nine inches, hit three. Blah, 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 blah. So I get it all phoned in and think, all right, I'm just gonna go there, zip in, pick it up and zip out. But no, I'm almost there at the counter to get it. And there's always a person that beats me there. And they've always got a problem. <laughs> a long, long problem. And then they start to turn around and look at me as if they want to include me in that problem. Like, you see what I gotta go through? And I'm like, could you just turn around and face them and maybe this would resolve a lot faster? <laughs> and how dirty do you have to be to go to Rite Aid? Sometimes I haven't washed for weeks because I think I'm fitting in better. People, at least in Hackensack, New Jersey, they go in their pajamas, their curlers, their slippers. I don't know, it's kind of homey. It's like a slumber party. <laughs> For addicts. Oh dear God. So I have a job. That's hard to believe. You didn't laugh at that one, did you? I do look like I have a job, right? I do. I'm a receptionist. That's probably the oldest gay receptionist ever. Hi. <laughs> oh, someone's photographing me. Hi. This is my best side. Um, and I like it. I like it. I answer the phone all day. Gurn a chronic and bell for sale. Um, but I remember before this, you know, the worst part is um, you're giggling, you're laughing. <laughs> is he fondling you in an unseemly manner? That's very nice. Um, and so he made me forget what I was going to say. It's brilliant. It was brilliant too. So I answered the phone all day, and um, <laughs> I say Gurn a chronic and bell for sale. And oh right, it was before this. Before, when I was jobless for three months, the worst part is going on, um, I was going to say auditions. What is the thing you do? <laughs> interviews. Thank you. Interviews, young lady. And it's like they ask you the dumbest questions. Like, can you do more than one thing at a time? No. Exactly. You've got it. No, I can do about one thing at a time, and it's probably personal. So please don't interrupt me. Um, can you multitask? And I'm like, well... I could probably jerk off you, you, and low one of your associates and still take it up the ass, so would that be multitasking? See, you like the dirty stuff, and that was a woman's thing. You're kind of a piggish out there. I was talking to one of my gay friends today, and um, I don't know if women do this, or even straight men, but it's like he likes to pick up guys just so we can see where they live and see how their apartments are furnished. Is that something that you women like to do? You don't really want to have sex with them, you just kind of want to see what their place is like. All right. I know. I am going to leave you with another jolly little note. I know. They're clapping because I'm leaving. It's all right. <sighs> when I'm faced with a day that's gray and lonely, I just stick up my chins and grin and say, Tomorrow, betcha he's a bottom and a power. Look, I'm gay! Thank you very much. It's been extremely fun. I'm something gay at the home to save my balls. Thank you. One more time, please, for Johnny Tremendous. <laughs>